working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits the block up, I tell you, fools us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too flush. Say my day's the number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Buying by the glass, man, a cheapskate hump. Niggas gotta move on my release, they hard. Bitch, this is fame, not flow. I don't even know what that's about, watch your mouth. Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit, it is what it is. Said what I had, so it did what I did. Never turn my back on every G, God forbid. Heard you got the paddock on my wrist, doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Um, Amber. Um, I want to get a ranch wrap and a Cajun fry and um a huge um iced tea. Well, a large iced tea, yeah. That'll be all. Thank you. Can I have a um, honey mustard and a buffalo sauce? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Hey, y'all. So, as you see, I got it quick out to get me a little snack. I just got my car washed, so I really don't need to be eating in my car at all. Look, you're gonna need a snack before I head to the office. So I'm about to go ahead and punish this real quick and we're gonna head down the road. So I'm gonna chit chat with you guys as I drive down the road. So y'all stay tuned. I literally just ate a chicken wrap from cookout. So, um, I wanted to chit chat with you guys. Kind of do like, I guess you could call it a life update. Um, I want to sincerely apologize for not being as active on this platform in the month of June. In July, it's going to be a whole lot different. I am planning content to post throughout the month of July. And my goal is to post twice a week. I'm working on the logistics of which days to post. Um, I kind of have an idea of posting every Sunday and Wednesday. Those days seem to work better for me. And the time that you, my homies, are active on YouTube. So, I'm working it out. I don't know if that's going to be set in stone. By now, you have already seen the first video. Hit July 1st. We're going to see if there's going to be one on Wednesday. So, well, it will probably be this video that will be posted on Wednesday. So, that's that. As you can tell by now, is a slight different change with the intro and the name 
and the reason for that is is that for my new upcoming homies as they make their way you know to the house that you know they'll know what my channel will be consistent with i feel like i don't feel like ebony told you like properly i don't feel like ebony told you kind of properly address what the channel is about or what i'm about like i feel like when I first started my channel, it was called Ebony the Realtor and it fit. Everybody knew what the channel was gonna be about. Then I got this bright idea to change it to Ebony Told You. I don't know why I did it. I just thought it sounded good. And, um, but I want my channel be to be consistent about what the channel is gonna be about and that's gonna be by Ebony and real estate and lifestyle and travel. And so I want it to get a better glimpse of me and what my channel is going to be about so that is the reason for the rebranding and the rename change going back to where i started when i first initially started youtube and so that's the reason why it's ebony the realtor ebony told you no longer exists i don't know what i'm going to do with that if you want to continue to follow that page go right ahead but i am going to be much more active on the ebony the realtor page so make sure you follow me at ebony the realtor on tiktok instagram and twitter i'm active on all three so i'm thinking about even incorporating snapchat but i don't know yet because i kind of i post on snapchat but not really like that but i'm much more active on here instagram tiktok and twitter so make sure you follow me at ebony the realtor on all of those platforms i want you know like i just want the whole branding to be very consistent with direction i'm trying to take my channel and the direction i am going to take my channel i want to talk about the wedding so if you've been around here for a while you know that i am getting married to another youtuber his name is rich b on this here platform so make sure y'all go and subscribe to his channel it's lit over there join the rich b gang so i will link his channel in the description box we are getting married in the fall as of today we have a little over a hundred some odd days um so we're excited everything is pretty much coming together we're taking care of the last few details our invites are about to go out within the next week so like i'm like i'm super uber excited my dress has came back i gotta get it fitted like, why are we driving like turtles everything is pretty much got came come together my wedding party almost everybody has been fitted and got their dresses and things like that so it's just the last few details like the little trinkets of the ceremony um like flower petals for the flower girl and a memorial we're gonna have a memorial table for our family that has passed away um you know that can't attend the wedding physically but we got that and um been meeting with my wedding planner she is a life saver you hear me because <laughs> weddings are like things that are a great deal like and it's so many small details that you have to like incorporate with a wedding that the normal and average person wouldn't think about so she has been really really helpful and have you gotten this are you going to do this or how you want the ceremony to flow and then now we're coming up with songs that are going to be incorporated with a ceremony so yeah i got i've been preparing for this day for the past couple years <laughs> so i already had like a list of songs that i would consider being a part of my wedding whenever it, that time came so i already have an idea of songs like i have a list of songs to go through and i have i'm going to meticulous meticulously place them 
in the order that you, I think the only song that I'm like where like I don't really have a much say so with is the song that my future husband is coming down the aisle to with his best man. So he's gonna pick that song out. I've, I've picked the song that I want to walk down the aisle to, and I've picked the song that um, we're gonna have at the end of the ceremony after they've announced us as husband and wife. I already got that song lined up. So it's just really a lot of like the small meticulous details and go on to invites like make sure you got all the people that you want there that can fit in your budget because i don't know why like a lot of people that i know it is really like just my side of the family and my side of like close friends they feel like they obligated to uh an invitation i'm just like my wedding is not a family reunion. Everybody can't come. <laughs> and I don't feel bad about it because are you going to pay, pay for your plate? Um, do you want to watch from outside? You hate it from outside because can't, you can't even get in. But <laughs> it is just like like everybody can't come and you're gonna have to feel away because if you don't get an invite to RSVP I'm just sorry like if you want to send a gift thank you but I just we our families are way too big to be trying to invite every single person that we know and I'm just like I'm not gonna overwhelm myself I thoroughly enjoyed this wedding planning process and I, I, I just I'm just not gonna stress myself about one day because it's not really about nobody but me and him. So I'm not gonna stress myself out the slightest bit and I wouldn't want him to do the same thing. So I'm gonna go through the guest list and all of that and make sure everybody has their contact information like email and and um, cell phone number, all of that is in there before I send the invites. And I'm just really like, especially for me and my side, I'm very, I'm very meticulous about who I want to be there because I don't want any spectators. I want people there that genuinely care about me and him and will genuinely, uh, genuinely support our relationship, pray for us, pray for our marriage, be supportive of our marriage i want those kind of people there i don't want people there that is going to spectate and report back i don't want them kind of people at our wedding and that's just just that's just the gist of it and but yeah that's that's pretty much um update with the channel and the wedding oh and i've gotten like a gingivectomy if my teeth look different so, um, I may have to get the bottom touched up once my braces come off, which those are about to come off soon. Hopefully, hopefully in time for the wedding, I really, 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 really hope that my braces can get taken off. But, yeah, child. But, yeah, um, hopefully, I don't know if my smile look. If you go back and look at, I was looking at a video from, like, October of last year, and I was like, good lord have mercy y'all let me walk around with these thick gums for 31 years 30 years like child like why nobody tell me to get braces 10 years ago when i was on my mama's insurance but nevertheless i like my smile and I'm, i think i'm going to really really like it when my braces get ready to come out i got like my braces are supposed to come off like around September, October. That'll be like September would be my two year mark. So hopefully I can get them off before the wedding. So child, we are at 1750 homies. So let's get the 1800 and let's get the, you know what I'm saying, 1900, 2K. What I'm thinking, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway y'all get me the 2k so what y'all think about it i did a, i did a uh a, a give i think i did a giveaway when i hit either 100 subscribers or a thousand subscribers but 
either way, when we get to two k, I might do a, I might do a little giveaway. So, y'all, go ahead and get your girl to two. We need two thousand homies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's say goodbye to Ebony. Told you, yeah. Let's see what's in store for Ebony the realtor. Ebony told you had a good run. I enjoy y'all that you know came along the way, but let's get us to 2K with Ebony the realtor. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be real, real soon. So I see you guys later. Bye.